Hello, Mo here from Hobart Headache Clinic and Spine Center. And a question we get commonly asked in the clinic is what's the difference between a normal spine and an abnormal spine? And of course, we see lots of cases of neck issues and back issues and headaches. And sadly, a lot of people in our community are really suffering with these kinds of issues. So the question we get asked is, what's the difference between normal and abnormal? And when you do x-rays and examination findings, what are you looking for? What should be there? What shouldn't be there? What's normal? What's abnormal? So um, of course, some research as well links problems with the spine with a higher risk of an early onset of arthritis, a higher risk of potential injury to the spine, injury to the discs as well. So this video will run through what's the difference between a normal and an abnormal spine. Um, hope it's super helpful. Enjoy. A healthy spine with its proper curves and thick disc beds is freely moving and constantly bathed in nutrient-rich fluids. Lubrication keeps the neck and back young. An abnormal spine has lost its healthy forward curves. Weight now bears forward on the soft discs, compressing and dehydrating them, forcing material to bulge back toward the spinal cord and nerves. Joints dry up, become stiff and eventually decay. Discs can also become locked or trapped to one side, causing stiff, uneven bending, leading to further disc damage and arthritis. Forward curve loss or poor posture can come from a variety of sources. Sometimes it's an obvious source like trauma, but often it's the day-to-day -day wear and tear and poor positioning that breaks down a healthy spine. Posture loss over time can be categorized in stages. Catching poor posture early is the best defense against stiffness, early aging, and poor health. As a neck loses its normal forward curve, the weight of the head shifts and locks forward, compressing the vertebra and discs, forcing bulging material toward the spinal cord and nerves.